Morning everyone, how are we doing? So I arrived in Bangkok late last night, about 10. And uh, by the time I got back to the hotel, to the hostel, put everything in the hostel, literally went out, tried to find Koh Sam Road, which was about five minutes from the hostel. And yeah, massive eye opener. Um, food looks great. Didn't really feel hungry last night, so I didn't really have anything. Um, but yeah, she'll be trying a few bits later on. So just want to share with you the first 12 hours of my time in Bangkok, which again, as I said to you about Koh Sam Road, a real eye opener. So got off at the I got on at, uh, at the airport, got a taxi, and then it started, like mugging me off. Another 20 baht, another 50 baht, another 20 baht for toll roads, for this, for that. To be honest, it didn't come to too much, and the woman at the hostel said it was around about right, but it just felt like he was just, unless you know what you're doing, and they can sense the vibe, they'll just keep asking you for more and more and more. So anyway, that was the first thing. Second thing, try to get the SIM card last night from the phone. Went to a 7-Eleven, which I was told to go to. And it's, they all speak perfect English. It's a bit like Spain. They all speak perfect English when they want to take your money. But as soon as the SIM card don't work, or something um, that they're not going to get paid for, that's it, manana, mate. No speaking no English. So, uh, yeah, so I got up this morning with the right frame of mind gonna be chilled out about it it's gonna be a mission to get the sim card so I tried a second 7-eleven guy knew what he was doing and uh, it didn't work same issue as the first as last night basically at the first 7-eleven so then he tells me to go to a phone shop about half an hour away buy a taxi it's gonna cost me this but this this so much and it's gonna cost me 2,000 baht for the sim card so I went back to the hostel and spoke to the lady there and she said, no, 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 load of rubbish. Go to this shop, which is about 50 metres from the hostel. It's called Televiz. Went in there, tried to explain to the woman that I tried to buy a 7-Eleven card, blah, 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 blah. She didn't want to know. She couldn't understand me. So um, I then in the end just said to her, right, we'll just change the SIM. I'd forget about explaining what's going on, what went wrong. And within five minutes, she'd done it. So. If I hadn't have told her that I went to the 7-Eleven and it didn't work and blah, 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 I'd have been out of the shop about 20 minutes before. So I've now got seven days worth of data. No calling charges, just data, just internet. Uh, all good. So yeah, the fun and games in Southeast Asia begin. Looking forward to it. Definitely gonna try a scorpion tonight. I saw them on uh, the guy with the buckets going around earlier, uh, last night. So where I was just walking, by the way, just, as you just walk along, you just randomly see temples. So yeah, I just had a quick walk around a temple there. Uh, took some pictures. But yeah, I think that's Southeast Asia in a, in a nutshell. I've got three months of it. Get in there. Right, so I think today what I'm gonna do is just a normal touristy things, Grand Palace, there's a couple of other Buddhas and temples in town and I think it's just going to be a case of, oh by the way, there's Koh Sam Road down there at the beginning of it, we'll go down there later on tonight, but basically I'm just going to be doing lots of walking today and having a look at the main attractions. Okay, catch you in a bit. No idea what they're all queuing for, but there are thousands of people here. Obviously, I can't get in the Grand Palace because the king died. I've just been told it's all for the Thai people still queuing up. But uh, look how many people. All waiting patiently in line. No one queuing up, no one barging in. I've got to be honest with you, it is absolutely steaming, I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah, look at all these people. It's 
So all these people queuing up to go and see the king in the Grand Palace. There are absolutely thousands of people. All the, fo all the food and drink... Cheers, mate. All the food and drink stalls, all free. Yeah, it's got some food. And I've just got some... Uh, it's got a bottle of water. It is absolutely boiling over here. I'm sweating. But last night, see all the water on the floor. Last night, the thunder and lightning literally come down. The hostel shook with the thunder. But yeah, just amazing. Dedication of these people just standing in a boiling hot. See their king. As we can see, the Grand Palace is So this is as close as I can get to the Grand Palace, but it does look absolutely amazing from the outside. But look at all these dedicated people here. You can see it. Maybe when I come back in a few weeks time I may be able to get in there, but... Another one to tick off the bucket list. Looks absolutely amazing. So I've just paid 100 baht to come into a temple called Wat Po, which is basically right next door to the Grand Palace. There's only a road in between. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is there's an American group just in front of me. I'm going to try and blag on to the end of their little tour. So I can get the full knowledge of what goes on in there. Speak to you in a minute. Temples just keep going on and on and on and on. Look at the beauty of this. Just when you think, well, that's it, it stopped. We're going to go back to the beginning. <laughs> There's another one. Yeah. Truly really amazing. from the other side. So that's my first temple Buddha. 
Down. Only another million and one to go. All good. So I've decided to get a tuk tuk. It's my driver's bus. It's going to take me to three or four of the places that I want to go for 40 baht, which is well worth it because I'm absolutely sweating. So, yeah, let's see where we're going. days and then I'm going to go to Chiang Mai. Just sped up. Okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. biggest one so far. We took took drivers done one. But he hasn't been paid so but look how busy it is. Something to do with doctors and nurses here at the palace. Uh, dropped me off for some food. He wasn't allowed to park there, so he's just he's done one. So I feel gutted for him really, because he ain't going to get paid. But don't know. I'll go back over there in a minute. I've been waiting for him for about ten minutes, and I still can't get hold of him. So hey ho. But yeah, really busy here. Okay, so I'm back at the hostel now. Um, it's been a bit, a bit of a busy day. Temple, put it out. Um, got a tuk tuk. Obviously, he left 
and done me. I don't think he wanted to, but it was just so busy he couldn't park up. So he ended up getting a, a motorcycle taxi back to the hostel, which was a lot quicker. Well, it was, could have been a lot quicker anyway. They just whizzing and whizzed out of the traffic. Whereas that tuk-tuk would have been stuck, because like I said, it was really busy around by the palace. Um, so I'm going to leave the vlog there for now. Tonight I will be back out down the Coast Sand Road and I may well be tempted to eat a scorpion and I'll let you guys see it. Okay, so for the minute, thank you for watching. Cockney Vlogger, over and out.